short tell version 14 work group administration we're going to walk you through the configuration of a work group and help you understand how the various components of the short tell ipbx enable you to create a fairly robust set of contact center like features uh, this is a uh, subset of the enterprise contact center product line but it is often more than most folks need uh, to set up customer service and technical support and sales work groups and we'll walk through this configuration and we'll show you how to set up the basic work group how to set up an agent and supervisor user group uh, these are groups in addition to the user groups that may already be established in your PBX. Everybody in the Shortel has a membership and a user group. That user group defines your uh, permissions and access privileges. We're going to create two new ones, the agent and the supervisor, uh, because we want to extend some privileges to those two groups that may not necessarily be appropriate for the rest of the organization. We will then create a toolbar which we will push out to each of those groups, a toolbar for the supervisor group, a toolbar for the agent group. We'll take a look at an actual agent desktop, we'll review the supervisor desktop, and we'll talk a bit about report generation. You will reach a workshop, uh, excuse me, work group uh, configuration through the shoreware director. So if you are not responsible for system administration, you're going to have to get with someone who is, and they will uh, enable you to have privileges uh, for configuring the work groups. But you'll do this through the shoreware director. <clears throat> When we get in there, we'll first establish a name for the work group. We'll give it an extension name, uh, an extension number. Understand there are about three different ways to get to the work group. Uh, obviously, someone can answer an incoming telephone call and transfer it to the extension number of the work group. That will work. Often, this is a menu item in the automated attendant, and a caller can self-navigate to the or service work group or you might apply a DID number or DNS number to the work group itself and in this way it could be directly dialed from outside the company. The work group will have a mailbox and the agents who are part of that work group will have access to that mailbox We'll talk about setting up queue handling, applying a schedule to the work group, appointing a work group assistant, and along the way we'll probably point out some information about licensing of these features. First thing we'll probably do is create these user groups. As I said, we want to create a set of privileges and apply them to a group called agents and another set of privileges uh, that we're going to apply to supervisors. Typically, supervisors have privileges like barge in, monitor, record, uh, coach, and these privileges are applied against agents who have the opposite privilege. They, they expect to be monitored, barged in, recorded, uh, and coached. And those two uh, user groups work together to create that do or do we um, relationship. And then, of course, we'll create the toolbar that we want to push out to the supervisors or to the agents uh, that will have those tools available in the call manager itself. Uh, the principal uh, privilege that we're going to mess with in terms of supervisors and agents is the telephony class of service, and that's where you're going to enable, monitor, barge in, coach, and record.
Keep in mind that everybody in the short tail deployment has a membership in a user group. Out of the box, you short tail gives you executive, manager, staff, house phone. And these are just ways of organizing uh, access rights and privileges to various facilities in the PBX. Executives might be able to dial long distance calls, and house phones may only be able to uh, make internal calls and dial 911. That is all done uh, through the telephony uh, class of service that is applied to the user group. Defining toolbars, pretty straightforward. There's a section of the Shoreware Director Administration in which we uh, can define a global toolbar, give it a name like supervisor, and then push it out to um, those individuals. Here is the uh, Shortel work group call manager. This one is set up for use by an administrator, excuse me, uh, by a supervisor. And you will see that uh, it has a row of buttons here. So the global toolbar we talked about. And this has been created and then pushed out to the user group called supervisors. And so that it will appear on supervisor call managers. Everybody has a call manager, and they look very much the same, uh, but the work group folks have this logged in, logged out capability. They have the ability to log in to the work group and log out of the work group. Supervisors will have, in addition to the normal history, directory, voicemail, speed dial, contacts, tabs that everybody else has, supervisors can add the agent monitor tab and the queue monitor. Agent monitor enabling them to see the um, names of the individuals uh, in, the, in their respective technical service group, customer service group in this example. Queue monitor would show us uh, calls waiting in those queues. And this is an empirical view that the uh, supervisors have. Agents would also have the queue monitoring tab. So that's a quick overview of what we're going to do. And let's log into Shoreware and make this happen.